YouTube, YouTube is the Buffalo Perch Killer. And I uh, always got to look. It's December 16th. Uh, I'm supposed to go to... Where am I going tomorrow? Birch Dam. I'm supposed to go to Birch Dam and check out the perch. But there's a good possibility that I may fish locally. I haven't decided yet because the guys haven't gotten back to me. Um, ice fishing is upon us. So what I've been doing the last couple of days is gearing up for ice fishing. So this video is going to be dedicated to ice fishing gear. So let me show you a couple of poles that I bought. Let's see. HT camel. You know how I am with these camel poles. This pole is uh, 26 inches. It's HT. It's a medium heavy pole. It's got the camel reel. It's, it's got an extra long neck too. You know how those guys be holding poles for, for jigging with the ice fishing stuff. It's got a it's got an extra long neck on it. This neck here is longer than usual. But this is probably not going to be my main pole. But it's a 26 inch HT. It's nice and camel. You know I like to wear the camel, so I might show up with this pole every now and then. But this is this is pretty much a one of my secondary poles it's not going to be my main pole here I do like the long neck but that's what that is uh, it is what it is it's 26 inch pole this one is I'm going to I'll go over the line in a minute so I'm going to put this here I'm going to show you everything that we got put that right there this next pole This is a heat wave, black and orange. This is an ultra light pole here. I almost took this pole back, but when my son started showing me how flexible and everything this pole was, I decided to keep it. This pole, I'll probably get a jig and let him use this one. But this is a, it's got a nice, it's a nice little setup. This is a, this is, I didn't, I don't, this one doesn't say how long it is, but it is ultra light. I'm, I'll show you about the line that I'm going to put on that one too. If this one's 26, I would say that this one somewhere near 25 or so. I'm pretty good at measurements. So that's those two. Uh, this one here. You know I'm a pole fanatic. Everybody said, why do you need so many poles? But it's ice fishing. I'm not going to be messing around. I have a pole set up for different things I'm gonna have different size poles for different fish and there's a good chance to talk about this one this one here is gonna be for the probably the northern so I'm probably gonna use the northern jigs and stuff like that on this one and I'm gonna show you why I got this one from Cambela's this is a damn 40 49 dollar reel that I got for nine bucks it was missing a part but they replaced the part it was missing this part here it's the only chrome part that's on the reel but I still got it for nine bucks. It's actually the uh, Cabela's Classic. It's a nice reel. It's not particularly an ice fishing reel, but uh, I paired it up with this Wild Series. You know, guys, you know about my Wild Series. The Wild Series, I got the Wild Series uh, salmon and uh, still hidden salmon pole. I got the Wild Series. That's that's the that's actually the the perch killer whipping stick, the green one that I use all the time. That's a Wild Series. Uh, the Bass Assassin's also got a Wild Series too. He he he's got the Wild Series uh, uh, uh steelhead one, but it comes in that uh that olive green, and this is actually a medium heavy pole. No, nope, not not a medium heavy. I'm sorry, a medium. So I paired that with this reel here just because I got both of them separate. I got the pole separate. I got the pole from, uh, where did I get this pole from? I got the pole from Dix and I got the reel from Cabela's. But I paired that up. Let me see how it works. If not, I'll change the reel on it. But right now it looks good. And I know it, it'll, it'll handle a big fish. So that's why I'm gonna keep that like that. And I'll show you the line that I got for that too when I bring the lines out. So these are three. This one's gonna be a 
like I said, I'll let Jigga use that one. And this one is uh, going to be for my bigger walleye northern type fishing. Bass or whatever, if I can catch any bass out of there. That's what that one's for. Now, my ultralights. What a bam. All right, there's Abu Garcia. Now, this is the one I like the most. One of the, well, the two last ones. It's an ultralight pole. I think this is 28 inches. 29. It's a 29 inch ultralight Abu Garcia. Paired with the Abu Garcia reel. This is a really nice setup right here, man. Check out that handle. That's what this is. I also got this one on sale too. I'm a bargain fanatic. But this is my ultralight pole. This is my perch panfish pole. The one I'll mainly be using is this one. The next two that I'm showing you are going to be the, my two primary poles. So this is my ultralight. It's a 29 inch Abu Garcia. This one here. I got this one from Miss Perch Killer. She got me this one. This one is the uh, True Blue Signature Pole. Dave Jens. It's a 28 inch medium light. It's a nice pole right here. Signature Edition. True Blue Series. Oh, this is made by Com, the same people that makes the huts. Wow. Yeah, this is this this is uh, this pose made by Kyle. It's nice. That's where that blue comes from, huh? Then you can find out. All right, but these two are going to be my. This is my medium, and this is my light, my ultra light. So these are my two primary poles right here for the fishing season. And I got the line to match them. I'll show you all the lines. This one here. I like this one because uh, it's got that breakdown handle for storage. Push this lever here and the handle breaks right down to lay it flat. This one also has the breakdown handle. So those are nice. It's got the handle when you want to store them, you can break them down real easy. Alright, well those are the poles for ice fishing. I know it may look like a lot of poles, but my hands are, I mean, I'm, I do good in the, in the winter, but a lot of guys don't. And they're not going to be trying to hook up a small eighth ounce or quarter ounce jig in the freezing cold when I can just pull out another pole that's already set up. And like I said, if we get into any bigger fish, I'll use the, the bigger pole. So this is the beginning of the ice fishing gear. Let's, uh, let's move on to the lines and then I'll move on to the, to the tungstens. Alright. So for this Abu Garcia here, it's ultra light. I chose uh, I chose this clear. Let's see what this is? Ice Magic Cold Water Fishing Line Three Pound Test. This is the one I chose for that. You know it's white, so you know how I get down with the color combinations. So I chose that three pound suffix for that. That's going to go with the uh, Abu Garcia. Uh, for this uh. This calm, it trips me out. I didn't know that this was made by calm. Uh, for that one, here we go again with the colors. I got some uh, some real pretty cold weather blue, electric blue. Wait, do you see it? I'm gonna show, make another video after I get it all together. Trilene. This is a six pound test. Medium. I got the six pound. Ultra light. I got the three pound. White and white, blue and blue. You guys already know how I, how I get down. So, let's skip over to this one just to keep it uh, color coded. This uh, black and orange one right here, I chose the suffix tangerine color. This is also a six pound test, ice magic, just like the first one. But it's just the orange to match that orange pole. These poles are going to be beautiful when I get them done. All right, so this, uh, this camouflage pole here. I chose the P-Line uh, Fluoride Fluorocarbon 4 pound test Yeah 4 pound test I think I'm making a mistake here but I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use this one on this pole here and on this uh, 
this wild series I got some Stren monofilament this is also a four pound test this is where I think I made the mistake I should have went higher with this one but I can handle it I'm a true fisherman so I'll be able to I'll be able to get them in but that's the line I got for that one I don't know if I'm going to get there you go all right so these are the poles these are the lines I got paired with them all ice, fish, uh, ice fishing cold weather lines all color coded all to match got the green for the green got the white for that one and so on and so on so let's move on to this tungsten uh, as a matter of fact that's not tungsten so let's just go here I uh let's see what size these are it's a size 8 hook this is the power glow these right here I'll probably use these on a medium sized pole Probably use this on a medium sized pole because I bought some smaller ones for the ultralight. So, this first batch I'm going to show you, I'm going to use on the medium sized poles. Anything from this pole on down, I'll be using this these type of tungsten here. I got these all, all are glow. This is a power glow green with a size 8 hook. Let's see. Then I got the uh, I'm trying to get the bigger side here, right here. I got another one, the same size. This is the white glow. This is the uh, what do you call it? Chartreuse glow. Same size, same size hooks. Put all that right there. Let's see. This one here is a pink glow, actually. No, it glows red. It says it's pink, but it glows red. It's a uh, some kind of super grub or something, but it's the same weight as the others. With the same size eight hook, and I'm going to use those for all the medium size uh, poles. Now, for the ultralight pole, I got all smaller uh, tungsten heads, all grubs here. These colors here, I think they're going to be doing the best. I got a couple different varieties. Small right there, small right there. These are all for my ultra lights. Two double packs. I got the white and pink, and I got the white and chartreuse. Small for the ultra lights. Like I said, I'll, I'll between this white one and this black one right here, ultra light. These will be the things that I'll be hooking up for that. Those sizes. I got this one here too. That one looks like it's gonna do some damage. That's a black and uh, red, kind of off color, but. That's the one I chose for that. Uh, I don't know. It looks like I can catch a perch on this one. This is also a glow spoon. I got I'll probably use on the medium heavy poles. I can use on the ultralight poles too, but we'll see. Then I bought these uh, a Eagle Claw ice fishing uh, slicker kit. It's got a little bit of everything in it. All the different colors, all the different sizes. So we get all this stuff together and I'll show you how that turns out. This one here is a new company called Moon Jig. It's got an ice fishing kit. The, the jigs on them are, are really nice. They got the purple and the chartreuse. They even got the black. They got the orange, which I think is a really hot color. They got a lot of different ones with the tiger stripes in them. Hopefully you can see them. But these jigs here should do a little bit better than the, the Eagle Claw because of different varieties. I also got uh, some Swedish pimples. We're gonna use these for the northerns and everything else. Uh, and see, we got some uh, plastics to tip the stuff with. This was made by Com. It's supposed to be very popular. One of the guys at, at, at the uh, uh, Cabela's helped me out picking this one out to tip everything with. I actually chose this one here. A little small red grubs to tip with. And I also chose this one. This is a metal head, they call it. But it looks like it's gonna do some damage. It's got that uh it's got that garlic scent on it. I got a couple ice floats. The uh Crabby King swears by these things. I've been waiting for a chance to get them. 
you can actually cut these things down depending on the weight that you have on your on your whether I use a, the heavier tungsten or whether I use the ultralight tungsten you can actually cut these things in half my phone rings every time I make a video you can actually cut these things in half and lighten up the uh, uh let's see who it is that's my daughter sorry I'm gonna call you back I got some extra small bobbers I really don't like these bobbers but they're so small I grabbed them when I could, but I'm gonna probably use these every now and then. I don't know. I got an extra bucket uh, pole holder. You got a rod holder that fits on your bucket. I'm gonna use these too. So this is most of my gear. I got this uh, Repella utility box, and I can't wait to fill it up. It's got the one side for the tungsten. I'm not sure what this size is for, so if you guys know, let me know in the comments. It's got these little clamps on the alligator looking teeth. I, I'm not too sure how to use that. I got the other side for the jigs, which I got to go upstairs and get there inside my other cases. And then we got the clear, the side here. I really like this side here. Yeah, look at that. That is neat. See that? I don't open it. It's got the little door on there. I can put the little spoons and stuff in there. So this ice fishing thing is really expensive, as you can see. Made by Repella. So that's a nice little kit. We're going to get all the stuff in this one box, except for the bobbers and, uh, and this stuff here. So, so I also got the case. Believe it or not, all these poles and all this equipment is going to fit in this one case. It's made by HT High Tech. It's got this side over here. I'm gonna these poles that with the handles that break down. I already had it in there before I made the video. So the ones that break down, I'll put on the outside. One on this side and one on this side here, which is actually made for uh, tip ups or spoons. But I'm gonna utilize them for the poles. And then I'll put the other three in the middle, which is the bigger compartment. So I got plenty of room to get all the poles in. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna stop the video, line all these poles up, set them up with the uh, tungsten jig heads, set the one up for this one here, like I told you, for the northern and walleyes. I'm going to set that one up, get everything set up, and then I'll make another video to show you how it all compacts into the bag and how everything works out. Um, I don't know what tomorrow holds for me, but we are going fishing. Like I said, I'm supposed to go to Burke's Dam, but I got a good feel I'm going to fish locally. I, I, I've heard some things I want to check out. It's getting dark now, so I don't have time to check them out tonight, but I'm definitely going to check them out tomorrow. But this is my ice fishing gear. Some of it. Um, I still got an auger to get, and I'm debating on which hut I want to get. I think I want to get a three-man hut. I think I'm going to get the black and red one. That, uh, I forgot who it's made by. Uh, Ig uh, no, no. Um, oh, man, who is it made by? It's not Igloo. Eskimo or something, something like that. It's a black and red one. It's a three to four man hut. That's what I think I'm going to get. I wasn't going to get a com, but I don't know. I don't know. But I got to get a hut. I got to get an auger and a big spoon or something. A couple other things I want to get. I was going. I was looking at those damn uh, 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 tip ups, but I don't think I'm going to use them. So this is how I'm going to start my ice fishing uh, thing for this year. I think we got another two weeks before ice really freezes over. I hear that they're dealing with three uh, inches in, in uh, Wilson Harbor. I'll find out what, what we got tomorrow. I'm going to go out and, 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 and check the waterways and, and see what's going on. If uh, Smallville Harbor is, 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 is uh, starting to ice over in any way, I'm going to probably hit a tributary or get down to Burks Dam. But we will be fishing tomorrow, so stay tuned. So let me go ahead and... Uh, package all the stuff up open it up i've been waiting to make this video before i can get it all opened up and th i think i've showed you everything and get it all started i'll get these lines on these poles and uh we'll be back perch killer out and uh, i'll get right back to you as soon as i get everything organized <laughs> 